Multimedia Elements Audio, Sampling and Converting Analog to Digital Sound. So sampling is the process of taking snippets from a sound wave and converting the wave data into digital data to be used by computerized systems. Thousands of samples need to be taken from an analog sound wave in order to represent the audio data adequately in digital form. The following parameters need to be set when converting analog to digital sound. Firstly is that of the sampling rate. This is the number of times a sample or slice is taken from the sound wave. There are recommended sample rates or quality frequencies for different kinds of digital sound. These include 44,000 Hz for CD quality sound, 22,000 Hz for good quality music, we've got 11,000 Hz for voice, and then 5,000 Hz for that Husky type AM radio sound. What I want to highlight as well here is sound frequency is measured in Hertz, as I was saying through that, which is the amount of times a wave cycle occurs per second. Thus, in CD quality music, we are taking 44,000 samples, okay, 44,000 pieces of data from a waveform per second. So that's quite a lot because songs don't go for one second, they go for much longer than that. But that's how much data we're getting per second. Secondly is the feature of sample size, and this is the number of bits per sample. How much data will be recorded about each sample? The most common sample sizes are that of 8-bit and 16-bit sound. The more bits available, the more sounds available. So firstly is 8-bit sound, which is able to represent 256 possible values in relation to digitized audio samples. An 8-bit value is eight digits in length, so 10101100. And it's all zeros and ones because we're talking in binary here. So eight bit sound is adequate for producing electronic like sounds, old school video game sounds, the beeps, the Super Mario music, all of that, that's eight bit sound. Though some mainstream artists have been able to make good commercial songs using eight bit sound. Though most natural sounds come from 16 bit sound, which is able to represent 65,536 possible values. That's a lot more in relation to digitized audio samples. A 16 bit binary value is 16 digits in length, as you can see there. All right, so it might only look like twice the length, but capable of thousands of more sounds. 16 bit sound is adequate for producing natural sound, CD quality audio music. While the sound quality is better though, it has a greater impact on the file size of the audio being created because it's got to record or have the ability to record so much more sounds about the audio file. So let's try to illustrate this now in reference to sampling rate and sample size when converting an analog wave to a digital wave. So here is my analog wave. And in a previous video, we talked about how we these waves tell us things such as amplitude, which is the volume of the sound and how loud it goes the wavelength, which tells us the pitch of the sound, okay, and the further apart they are, the deeper the sound will be, or the closer together, the higher pitch the sound will be, and then the frequency, how many times, usually in hertz, which is in per second, the waves occur, how many waves occur per second. So what we need to do now is sample this stuff. So we've got to sample our sound wave. So I'm going to take slices from this sound wave, and I've set my sample rate to 22,000 hertz, which means for this sound wave, over a second, I'm going to take 22,000 slices of the wave within this second. So quite a lot, but still, that's only half of what CD quality audio is. Now, the amount of data I'm putting behind my slices relates to the sample size. All right, so I'm keeping it at the lower end. I'm going to do it as 8-bit sounds, which means I'm going to have 8-digit values coming out of each of my slices. So an example would be 10101100. That would be just for one slice of my 22,000 taken each second. All right, and then that alone will give me a small wave of a digital wave. And digital waves are at fixed values, they're either one or zero. So that is how 10101100 will look. That is one slice of my sound wave. Okay, there's 22,000 more within the second of whatever audio I'm playing, and I'm sure this audio goes even longer than one second. So I hope this is giving you an understanding of the importance of sampling in relation to converting analog sound into digital sound, and how we have to establish what the sampling rate will be, how many times we take a sample from an audio wave, and the sample size, how much data is behind the samples that we are taking, whether that be 8-bit or 16-bit sound.